Mercedes-Benz SL550, one of the most ostentatious production cars out there. But can the cabin tech keep up with all that pretense? Let's find out. I can tell you at the outset, this car is more about cabin comfort than about technology accoutrement. Let me show you. Navigation is standard. You'd say, okay, well, that's pretty forward, but I don't like this navigation system. That screen is relatively amateurish in its rendering and resolution. I don't like the way this command system works when it comes to entering a destination and moving around the menus. I, I can't put my finger on it. I just don't like it, and I think it looks coarse and crude. Now let's move on to the entertainment system, which is audio and a little more, but not quite video. Let me explain. Here's your CD player right up here, this single slot. Back behind the driver's seat, you'll find the six disc part of the CD system. This guy will play audio CDs or MP3 CDs. No iPod adapter is available in the SL550, unlike some other Mercedes. You also have no auxiliary jack on this vehicle, unlike some other Mercedes that have a similar looking head unit, but it's not quite the same. We have satellite radio on this guy. That's serious. That's standard AM, FM, weather band. What annoys me on the FM is there's no RDS, radio data system. So you're never going to see the station name or the track they're playing. Now somewhere going through the manual, I noticed a DVD video logo. So here's our movie. Let's pop Gone in 60 seconds in there and get ready to watch because we've got this thing in park. I've got the parking brake on. There's the DVD video logo and let's watch a movie. What the <laughs> To prevent the driver from being distracted, the picture is faded out. I'm in park, the brake's on, the car's not even running. It doesn't show you video. It plays DVD video, but with no picture. You can listen to a movie, that's all. What are they thinking? Now, once you get whatever sound you're going to listen to coming out, it does sound good, but there's only one audio system on this car, so you better like it. It is a Bose system. Okay, let's move on to hands-free communication. Yes and yes. You have the option to go with the Mercedes Cradle system. Here it is right here. You'd get an adapter for that to go to your specific phone. It really just works with a dozen or so Motorola phones and really only five major models. So you got to be aware of that. Much more compatible would be the Bluetooth option, which you can also get in this car. But notice this. In the Mercedes manual buried in here, it says, do not use a wireless radio device in this car. It could screw up the engine computer. So they'll sell you Bluetooth, but they kind of don't want you to use it. Let's move on to the powertrain. Now this is an SL550, so you know it's got roughly a five and a half liter engine, 5.46 to be exact, 32 valve, all aluminum V8, naturally aspirated, and that's got 382 horsepower, uh, just a little bit less than that on the foot pounds. Goes out through a silky smooth seven speed automatic that has a shiftable gate back here on the backside. And notice on this car, we have keyless go, hence the button on top of the shifter for start stop. If you get tired of operating all that stuff on the freeway, you can option up Distronic, which is radar cruise control. You tell it how far to follow and it'll take it from there. Here's a switch to change transmission behavior, comfort or sport. You've also got ABC, that may seem elementary, but it's actually active body control. You can put that in the sport mode or standard, and that controls the electrofluid dampers, shocks that have a different rate depending on how you push this button and how they are electronically modified. You've also got a ride height control that is part of that same system to raise and lower the ride height of the car. Which brings us to the braking technology, of which there's a slew of as well. When the car senses rain, it will occasionally tap the pads to the rotors just to wick off any water that would keep you from stopping as tightly as you'd like. When you get into a panic mode, if it senses you lift off the accelerator really fast, it'll pre-position the pads closer to the rotor then as well. So you get just another millisecond of braking before you hit something. Now this is an SL, so of course the top's a big part of the story. A beautifully integrated retractable hard top, all metal. Notice our car is optioned up with what they call the panorama roof, glass moonroof. And on all the SLs, when you do the top trick, the backlight does a 180 as it folds in or comes out of the rear quarter. It's a way to save space when it's tucked. And overall, the line on this car is beautiful. Okay, let's price our comely little friend. You start off at about 96 grand right at the base before your accountant even gets himself off the floor. Then we added about $3,000 to get xenon headlights, cornering fog lights, keyless go, and ventilated active seats. Another three grand will get you Distronic radar cruise and Parktronic front and rear bumper sensors. Then you're in another 400 bucks for Bluetooth or $200 for a cradle. 
and 2,000 more for that very cool panorama glass moonroof. So CNET style, it's more like 101. For more video like this, go to CNET.com and click on CNET TV.